The FDA has announced dates for its advisory panel to meet and discuss vaccine for kids under five. Moderna requested emergency use authorization from the FDA for its vaccine for children under five years of age and as young as six months old. That's the only remaining age group ineligible for vaccination. ABC News senior policy reporter Ann Flaherty joins me now and good to see you, friend. So what is the timeline here for these meetings and how quickly could the vaccine be approved for these age groups? Uh, well, Kenneth, I think the bottom line for parents is to be watching in June. It's going to take a while for the vaccine makers to submit all of the data that the FDA needs. And then, of course, we're going to be looking at these advisory committee meetings. So the FDA has scheduled meetings on June 8th. We're looking at June 21st and June 22nd. That means that they have some indication that they might be ready to act after one of those meetings. Of course, we don't know exactly what vaccine they'll be taking up on what date, but all indications are June 8th will probably Probably be this Moderna application that was just filed. But I think what parents need to know is that the, they are still submitting data. It is very complex. These applications tend to be hundreds of pages long, and the FDA has a lot of questions because they don't want to cut corners on this particular vaccine for this age group. That's Moderna. What about Pfizer? What's the latest on that? Are they still waiting on Pfizer data, or are they just going to move forward on Moderna? So the Pfizer data, this was what was so disappointing to so many parents back in February. They announced that they just didn't have the results that they wanted. The, the dosing that they had given to children under five was just too small, and it, it didn't hold up in the Omicron surge. So they want to go back and see if a third dose might get kids to where they want to be to have a, a certain level of protectiveness. So those clinical trials are still ongoing, of course. Uh, we expect those to be announced shortly. Of course, Moderna has a two-shot vaccine that they say produces the same immune response that we're seeing in adults and they believe that this will help protect kids so the bottom line is I think either vaccine will probably show up to be pretty good and and at protecting these kids and keeping kids out of the hospital but we just have to wait and see what the FDA says on this and of course the independent advisors as well so and summer right around the corner with summer travel here you know just a couple months away how crucial are vaccinations for kids this age well, you know, it's always tough because I know that we have this debate that kids don't get as sick uh, as adults, and they're less likely to end up into the, in the hospital. So I've talked to a lot of disease experts throughout the pandemic, and they all tell me the same thing. Comparing kids and saying it's relative to older adults is not really a smart way of looking at a disease. Right now, we have 468 kids under the age of five who have died in this pandemic. So of course, that's out of a population of 18 million kids that age. It's a very small fraction. But for those families and for those parents, 468 deaths, if they could, if they could be prevented by this vaccine, that's obviously going to be very important. So you know, I think that people have to make their own risk assessment and to look at the health condition of their child, if they have any sort of health conditions at all, talk to their doctor about those risks with traveling. Uh, and, and then you can wear a mask. There is a lot of uh, evidence that that one-way masking works. Of course, once kids get under two, that becomes very difficult to keep those masks on, and you are going to have more of a risk factor. But I do think that we're going to have this vaccine online by June. That uh, bodes some sort of good news protection by August in time for school. So maybe not in time for summer travel, but maybe in time for fall. And big headline this week, Dr. Anthony Fauci saying that the U.S. is out of the pandemic phase. He later had to clarify, reminding the public the pandemic is not over. But what did he mean by out of the pandemic phase? Well, I think there's no doubt that we're out of the phase that we were in in 2020 and even 2021. I mean, we had at one point at the, at the various peaks of this pandemic, we had some 3,000 people dying a day. That was astronomical. And the toll on this country has been huge. Right now, we have about 300 people dying a day. Um, and, you know, you don't want to discount any of those. I think even one death that could be prevented um, is a death worth trying to prevent. So, and I think everybody feels that way. At the same time, they also feel like they need to move on. So what Fauci is making the point is that we do have antiviral pills, Paxlovid. If you are of a certain age, if you are a senior, that is one of the first things I would be asking my doctor about as soon as you test positive. You have to take it within five days of, of, of getting having symptoms or testing positive. Um, and we also have the vaccines get boosted. Those work. So we are not where we were in 2020. At the same time, obviously, the virus is still circulating and people need to be aware of that. All right, good information there, Ann Flaherty. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.